Now that you're aware that your interactions are essential to finding the root of the problem while you remain calm, positive, and ultimately reaching a resolution to the problem your customer is facing. Your customer, by the way, is often a peer in your own company, a coworker. Your customer, by the way, is often a coworker or peer within your own company. You will access your virtual idea board through our learning management system. I gave each one of you an individualized one, but they're all the same idea board. What you're going to do is place items underneath each one of the headings. For example, PC Windows operating system, the Mac environment or operating system, the printer hardware, or the network. All of these are different ways or different steps you can take to solving a printing problem. This is just a quick example of where how the sticky notes were placed. If you want to delete an item, you can double click on that item and hit the garbage can and it will delete that item. If you want to bring one item over another, you just click on it once. To delete it, you click on it twice. You can also add notes to that item if you want to. For example, when you're doing your research. If I want to move about the idea flip, I can take and hold down the trackpad or the left mouse button and just move it around. If I want to zoom in, I would do Command Shift Plus to get the plus sign and it zooms in for you. Otherwise, you can take a track. Otherwise, you can zoom in on a trackpad on a Macintosh trackpad by pulling in on a mouse trackpad by pulling in and out. In order to submit your your in order to submit your idea board individually, you can click on your icon. However, in the learning management system, when you submit in your folder, I will see that it came from you. However, if you want to take a screenshot, you can do Command Shift 4 and then marquee what you want in that screenshot. This will, this will default to your desktop. Otherwise, you can go up to File, Print, and the default Otherwise, you can go up to File, Export as PDF, and that too will save to your desktop. And with some of you, you would go into File, print and save it as a PDF and choose that as your printer. So three different ways you can submit it as a file to me on our learning management system.